Oh boy, here we are, the first ice fishing trip of the year. In fact, of the season for me. Now, ice fishing isn't a big deal at all. It is the most practical, most resourceful, most economical way there is to fish. In fact, I'll show you why. Starting right here, we have the ice fishing equipment. That's all you need. Now, this ice fishing equipment is as inexpensive as it comes. In fact, this is my deer hunting bucket that I use. I'll throw this on my shoulder. And this is what you might call specialized equipment, a spud and a little ice fishing rod. But this is actually all you need to get started in ice fishing. Oh man, what a gorgeous day for ice fishing. In fact, you know, when we get into January and February, later in the season, I'm gonna to have to have all types of gear on, but today the sun is out, it's warm. Well, it's 25, 30 degrees. But we're gonna be fishing a lake that is not too far from the museum in Bath. In fact, this is Lake Ovid out in Sleepy Hollow. You can see the picnic tables and all. A real popular place where people fish both summer and winter. The first decision you have to make when ice fishing is where are you going to fish? Now, this is the beauty of ice fishing in the winter. I mean, look, we have a, a pier here, a little dock on Lake Ovid that people can fish on in the summer. But if you don't have a boat, that's the extent of your fishing right there, the end of that dock casting out. But in the winter, the water's frozen. Everybody can fish anywhere in the lake. So you have the whole lake to choose from. Now there's people scattered. And you notice they aren't all in one tight group. People do scatter out because one of the beauties of ice fishing is the privacy and the solitude, believe it or not. So we're gonna, we're gonna set up Camp Matt I think between those two groups there. So come on down and we'll spot a hole in the ice. The thing that makes ice fishing so practical is that it's an extremely resourceful activity. And by resourceful, I mean that you're using things that you already have available. Well, like your fishing license you bought so you could fish in the summer. There's no extra charge to use it in the winter. The warm clothing you wear isn't special ice fishing clothing. I mean, there's no such thing. Ice fishermen wear their deer hunting clothing or snowmobile clothing or the long underwear and coveralls they buy for work. Instead of a boat, you sit on a plastic bucket. And instead of an outboard motor, your feet will take you anywhere on the lake you want to go. And that's why ice fishing is so resourceful. Okay, we're going to get a fresh spot here, and I'm going to spud this hole the old-fashioned way. This is called a spud. Uh, I don't know, 25, 30 years ago, it cost about five bucks. Not many people use them nowadays because they have augers, but this, you know, if you want to save money on ice fishing, this is the way to do it. I don't really know how deep the, or how thick the ice is here. I'll find out in a second. I don't think I really need a terribly big hole either. Now the clothes I'm wearing, in case you're wondering what you have to get for ice fishing, just good old deer hunting clothes. A lot of guys out here wear work clothes, construction clothes. You don't need to wear a lot while you're spudding, I'll tell you that. You get warm real fast. Later in the year, that's when you want an auger a gas auger. But I'm trying to show you, there we go, how to go ice fishing on a budget. Okay, now, number two piece of specialized ice fishing equipment is this skimmer. It's a little plastic skimmer, but it's very important for any type of ice fishing to clear the slush out of the hole. Now this will give me a chance to see if I actually spudded a clean hole. I'm going to have to clean it up with the spud so I have enough room down there. There we go. Now take the angle it like that. Now I think this is a big enough hole for any fish I'm going to catch. Lay the spud down. Now this is kind of difficult. When you lay something down on the ice, remember where the heck you put it because it can get covered up and nothing flat. So 
So you're wondering why is this fun? I'll tell you why it's fun because I'm sitting here by myself peacefully like all these guys are. You know, they're not out yakking with each other. They're not lonely. They're just taking a break. That's part of the charm of ice fishing, taking a break from the hassles of everyday work. Now what I've done here is I've clipped this little alligator clip with a weight on the teardrop, which is a little ice fishing lure. Once again, something that costs virtually nothing. I let this down in the hole. All I'm trying to do is find out how deep it is here. And it's surprising me. It's actually quite deep. Ice fishing is also extremely economical. A spud, a skimmer, an ice fishing rod, some little hooks and lures will run you, oh, well, maybe 20 bucks. A dozen waxworms might cost a buck or so, and that'll get you started for panfish. Recreation just doesn't come any more economical than this. And we sit here, watch the bobber, and watch the bobber, and watch the bobber. This is ice fishing, and I am enjoying myself. I'll sit here until I get uncomfortable. And that's most, some of the people come out here and they fish for an hour and a half or so, and they say they're too cold or they have something else to do. But you sit here and fish until you're not comfortable. You can sit and think. You know, what do you think about while you're ice fishing? Well, kind of review the marriage, review the job, review the family, life, money, politics. And when you're tired of that, just sit here and watch the bobber. This is fun. Air smells good. Wow. It's a break. It's a break from, from everyday life, which sometimes can get to be a hassle. Ice fishing really should be more popular than it is. I mean, people need to get away from traffic and telephones and the hassles of everyday life. I mean, it's good for a person to sit quietly and relax and think, especially in the winter when everybody feels cooped up and stressed because of the weather. If you want to know the truth, ice fishing is a great escape. So the next time you drive by a lake and see those fishermen sitting on buckets, think about what they're really doing. Catching fish? Oh yeah, that happens. But if the fish aren't biting, you still get your money's worth because the value of quiet recreation will far exceed the small amount of money you'll spend 